بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد عيلة حبت في الله إمام بن باز إمام أهل السنة والجماعة in this time was asked our sheikh how can we deal with extremism he replied by teaching and guidance from the scholars if they know that a person is excessive and innovates then clarify things to him like the one who declares sinners to be apostates this is the deen of the Khawarij who declare others to be apostates for their sins Therefore, he must be taught that he should be balanced. A particular ruling is applied to a sinner, and a particular ruling is applied to a polytheist. A particular ruling is applied to an innovator, so he is taught and guided to goodness until he is guided and until he knows the Sharia rulings and he puts everything in its rightful place. He should not make the sinner like the disbeliever, nor the disbeliever like the sinner. Those sinners whose sins are other than shirk, like the fornicator, thief, slanderer, and person who backbites, and the one who takes interest, all take a particular ruling, and they are not at the will or mercy, uh, and they are at the will or mercy of Allah if they die upon that sin. The polytheist who worships the inhabitants of the graves and seeks refuge in the dead instead of Allah requires a particular judgment. He is a disbeliever in Allah the Almighty. The one who curses the deen or ridicules it requires a particular judgment. He is a disbeliever in Allah. Therefore, people are at different levels and it is imperative to put everyone in their proper category. It is, it is a necessity to make those rulings pertaining to them with wisdom, clarity, not with desires and ignorance, but rather with Sharia evidence, and this is from the scholars. It is, or it is, this is from the scholars. It is required from the scholars to instruct the people and guide the youth who they fear might be extreme, harsh, or have shortcomings and teach them and direct them because they have little knowledge and it is an obligation to direct them to the truth. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Anything that was correct was from Allah Azza wa Jal. Anything that was incorrect was from myself and the Shaytan. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala Muhammad.